Hi everybody, welcome back to another Bake Off Box video. So today I'm making July's Bake Off Box. Um, July's Bake Off Box is called Don't Take the Biscuit, Make the Biscuit. And um, the recipe is for these strawberry and vanilla sandwich biscuits. So we've got um, some shortbread like biscuits that are sandwiched with buttercream and some strawberry jam and finished with a drizzle of white chocolate. So this looks fairly easy, fairly straightforward. So I think my aim today is going to be to make them look exactly like this picture perfect uh, Bake Off style. So that's what we're gonna try and do. In terms of ingredients from this month's box, we've got some flour, caster sugar for the biscuits. We've got some icing sugar and white chocolate drops to decorate. We've of course got the little recipe booklet and the recipe postcard got some pure bourbon vanilla extract which I think is pretty cool because vanilla extract is quite expensive so it's quite good that they've provided it. We've got some strawberry jam meaning we won't be making our own jam for this recipe so that will make it a bit quicker and easier um, and we also have a piping bag. And then in terms of the special piece of equipment that we get this month uh, we got this box of cookie cutters and it's this set of seven and um, as you can see like they come in different sizes so from nine centimeters i think in diameter all the way down to three and they're made of plastic which i think is quite good i was worried they might be made of silicon and then they're a bit floppy but yeah so they have a fluted edge and a just a normal round edge and um yeah they're quite good i obviously have this kind of thing already since i bake quite a lot and um, these are the things that i um normally but that i have and that i can highly recommend so i'll leave a link under the video in case you're wanting to order one and you're looking for um good ones but um yeah we're going to use those and also another thing that we're going to need today is a spatula and a palette knife so thankfully last month's bake off box and uh, make sure you check out that video if you haven't yet came with a palette knife and a spatula so yeah we can use those again this month what a coincidence and um, so yeah i'll be using that and then i also wanted to show you this um this month's bake-off box also came with an additional little recipe and um, so this is for strawberries and cream sandwich biscuits uh, to be honest these look nicer because they have like this cream cheese filling rather than the buttercream that this month's box has so um, yeah, I'll probably um, make these as well at some stage, but today we're going to make the strawberry and vanilla sandwich biscuits. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking and um, start baking. What's also quite good about this recipe is that all you need to provide yourself is some butter, uh, make sure it's Scottish butter, otherwise it won't work, and one large egg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with 120 grams of softened butter in a bowl and I'm going to add my caster sugar and cream that together until it is pale and um, creamy. So you really want to cream this together for about three to five minutes until the mixture is really pale in colour, all the sugar has fully dissolved in the butter and um, you might want to use your spatula to every now and then, then scrape down um, the sides of the bowl but um, yeah, just continue to do this until the mixture is ready. So this is what it looks like once we've creamed together the mixture. So as you can see, it's almost white. Um, so this is exactly what we want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to crack in the egg, make sure that's room temperature as well um, to avoid um, splitting the mixture because um, that can happen when you're using the creaming method. Um, I do have some tips on the creaming method so that um, that doesn't happen. Um, so make sure you check that out as well. And then I'm going to add half a teaspoon of the vanilla extract and then we're going to beat that in as well. Okay, so that is the egg and the vanilla completely beaten in. So now we've got the soft mixture and into this we're now going to weigh 240 grams of the flour because they give you a bit of extra to dust the surface. So we're gonna weigh uh, 240 grams of flour into the bowl and then just mix it with our spatula as much as we can um, before getting in with our hands and kneading it into a nice um, smooth dough. Okay, so next it says to turn the dough onto a lightly floured surface, briefly knead together with your hands, you really don't want to overwork it at this stage. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half, flatten it into a disc, and then I'm going to take a really long piece of um, cling film, wrap the two in the same thing, but with a layer of cling film in between so that they're not touching. And now I am going to take the um, dough and I'm going to put it in the fridge for about half an hour to firm up, um, which will help um, rolling it out. Okay, next step, remove the dough discs from the fridge and then wrap one of them. Lightly dust your work surface with a little more flour, roll until three millimeters thick, and then use the eight centimeter fluted cutter to cut out 12 biscuit shapes, um, re-rolling the trimmings until you have 12 biscuit shapes all together. And then you use your palette knife to put it onto a baking tray. Then you do the whole thing again to have 24 biscuits in total. And then you, out of 12 of them, you use the plain edge of the three millimeter cutter to um, cut out holes. And um, I think what I might do is I'll first do the ones with the holes so that I have more biscuit scraps to then re-roll. Um, that's probably a better idea, isn't it? I don't know, we'll see. Let's just roll and cut biscuits. Woo. Okay, so that took a lot longer than anticipated. Here are my 12 um, with a hole and then 12 uh, without a hole plus um, two. I managed to get one spare each. Um, at the beginning, the dough was still very, very sticky and I think the first, and then that's why I put the second half of the dough in the freezer for five to 10 minutes and that really helped. So I'd maybe even recommend, instead of putting it in the fridge for half an hour, freeze it for 15 minutes because until it's quite firm use plenty of flour to dust the surface normally i'm like oh don't add too much extra flour but in this case um they did sort of stick otherwise beforehand and anyway now we're going to put them back into the fridge for half an hour maybe i even pop them into the freezer for a bit because you want them to be quite firm and um, when they go into the hot oven and um, because the you want the butter now to solidify again so that the biscuits don't run and spread in the oven but stay in that nice shape so that's why we're going to cool them and cool them quite thoroughly now so the oven is hot, I preheated it to 160 degrees fan or 180 degrees if you don't have a fan oven and then we're just going to bake the biscuits now for about 12, 13, 14, 15 minutes just until they are lightly golden brown and then we'll remove them from the oven, leave them to cool on the tray just for a couple minutes and then transfer them to a wire rack to cool completely. Okay, so the biscuits are out of the oven and um, they're almost cool, they cool quite quickly. Now I'm going to make the buttercream, so I'm going to use, again, use proper butter for when you're making buttercream, not the baking spread, because it, otherwise it does taste not quite as good. Um, the ratios, again, in this buttercream, similar to when I was making the second Bake Off box, the one with the mini banana loaf cakes, they only use a one-to-one -one ratio between butter and sugar and normally I use two to one so I use one um, one butter and then twice the amount of um, 
icing sugar, so I hope it doesn't taste too buttery because that's what I don't really like about buttercream, and, which is why I'm not a great fan of it. But we're going to stick with the recipe and give it a go. So they also use the same sort of method that I would suggest um, using for when you make buttercream, which is to first whisk the butter for about four to five minutes until it is really pale in colour. That also means it doesn't taste quite as buttery and it's, um, sorry, I live on a main road, so if it sounds like a bus is driving through my house every now and again, then that is basically what's happening. So yeah, I apologise. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to add the, left, the rest of the vanilla, add it to the butter, whisk that until it's really pale in colour, then it's also yes, yellowy um, and when you've got your end result. And then we're going to add the icing sugar. So now that we've got our buttercream and it is nice and smooth and spreadable, um, I'm going to take this and I've just opened the strawberry jam and now we're going to spread some buttercream onto the biscuits without the hole followed by some strawberry jam and then we're going to sandwich it with um, one that has a hole on top. So yeah, I'm just going to do that now. To fill the biscuits, I'm going to take um, one and hold it bottom side up. Then I'm going to put a tablespoon roughly of the buttercream into the middle, spread it out across the biscuit just to leave a bit of a margin still. Then add a teaspoonful of the jam and then sandwich it together. So I have decorated the biscuits and I think I'm going to just quickly pop them in the fridge um, for a few minutes whilst I melt the chocolate just to firm up the buttercream. I actually have quite a lot of buttercream left. Maybe I wasn't generous enough because I personally don't like buttercream that much but I did think I put in quite a bit so I'll see later when I taste them if I think it's not enough and I should have used it all but if not in my recipe my version of the recipe on my blog I will reduce um, the buttercream quantities and then in terms of the jam I pretty much used all of it I left a tiny little bit to try it the quality of the strawberry jam so it's made with 60 grams of sugar to 100 grams of um, fruit so that's actually quite a lot of sugar that's just over uh, one to two ratio between fruit and sugar um, and I normally use a sort of one to three ratio so like three times more fruit than sugar actually this is not too bad a strawberry jam not the biggest fan of strawberry jam but big off box it's okay so I'm going to make the chocolate filling so I've got a glass bowl and I'm going to set that over a pan of um, gently simmering water with white chocolate in particular you have to be so careful that you don't overheat it so I'll be very careful with that leave it to cool slightly and then I will fill it into the little piping bag and um, that was provided um, in the box but yeah this is the white chocolate in the bowl it goes and just for science purposes before we melt this I think I need to try one tiny little piece of white chocolate Mmm, mmm, well, it's not milky bar, but um, it'll do to decorate the biscuits. <laughs> okay, so I've melted the white chocolate and filled it into the piping bag, and now I'm just going to um, do little zigzag lines across half of the biscuits, because that's what they've done um, to decorate it. And yeah, then I will just um, place them in the fridge again, I think, a little bit to cool, and then we'll be ready uh, this afternoon to have them with a cup of tea and try them.
Okay, so it's afternoon tea time. Time to taste my biscuits. Um, all my friends are not in Aberdeen at the moment, so I'm all by myself. Um, but yeah, here are my biscuits. Um, I don't think they look too bad. Um, quite close to the picture, so I'm happy with them. Um, hopefully they taste good. As I've said, I'm not the biggest fan of buttercream and strawberry jam. So I'm going to do something slightly controversial and actually cut one of these biscuits in half to see what they look like. Um, so let's see. So this is what each half sort of looks like. Okay, and now let's uh, try it. So bit of a strawberry jam. Ooh. Crumbly. Hmm. Not too bad. Mm. I'm not usually the biggest fan of strawberry jam, but it's nice in the biscuits. They remind me um a little bit of Viennese whirls. Um if you haven't tried those before, I do have a recipe um, for those on my blog. They are made with raspberry jam though, and the biscuit is slightly more buttery, um, but these are actually quite nice. Um, I do definitely think that this amount of buttercream is more than enough. So I think the recipe calls for too much buttercream. So um, in the recipe that I will put up on my blog, I will reduce the amounts of butter um, or buttercream slightly. But yeah, not too bad. Or should we do a... Um, Oh, slightly controversial. Do you put a jammy biscuit in tea? I don't know. But um, for those of you who like dunking your biscuits, let's see if that works. Oop. Mmm. <laughs> Jam. Mm. Maybe not the best biscuit for dunking. Um, I don't know. What do you think the best biscuit for dunking is? I think um, chocolate bourbons. <clears throat> now I'm dying. Um, yeah, I think chocolate bourbons are best for uh, for dunking, but um, let me know in the comments what you think. So, thoughts on the July Bake Off box. Um, recipe, good, fairly easy, but the last two were a bit more challenging, so fair enough. Um, I also think it's cool that they included a second recipe, so I will probably give that a try too. Special piece of equipment, cookie cutters, good, very good. Unfortunately, I already have some, but... Like I said, I since I bake a lot, I already have a lot of baking equipment, so probability that I already have things is um, fairly high. So they're really good, um, they're nice. And um, this time everything came in my box, so even the recipe postcard. Um, the old one, uh, the June one that was late, um, I did ask and they said they would send me the postcard, but um, so far I haven't got that yet. But um, yeah. Anyway, I think that was quite good. It's already the 1st of August, actually, so I will be getting the next Bake Off box very soon. Uh, so make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel um, so that you get notified when the next video is up. But yeah, um, I will leave the recipe for the vanilla and strawberry jam um, biscuits on my blog. There will be a link in the description box under the video. Make sure to check out some of the other Bake Off box videos. And then hopefully I will see you very soon, 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 soon for uh, the next Bake Off box.